Hello and welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, I'm here in the car again and there's baby Pickles in the back seat. Actually getting a very kind and generous lift from my partner here on the way to Greenpoint Brighton for the Sandy Point Half Marathon Running Festival or running event. I'm only doing a 5K though, not the half marathon. A bit of a spontaneous sign up. I used to run a little bit and I haven't run a race for about two years, but thought I might get back into it, you know, as you might be able to see on my channel, a lot of fast food in recent months. So possibly time to sort of balance out the scales of justice in that sense and pay my dues. Always good to get moving. It's a nice day today. Um, what is it? August 24th or something? August 25th. <laughs> About to head into spring. Down by the coast it might be a little cold but perfect condition for running. Anyways, uh, in terms of a 5k time, I'm probably hoping for anywhere under 40 minutes which is relatively slow but as I said I haven't run for two years and I've eaten a lot of KFC in that preceding time. Yeah, just managing expectations, have a good race, just loosen the body. I haven't really done any training runs like even just casually jogging. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably head off just by myself and while um, the girls here try and find parking and then I'll meet them back at the race village after the event so stay tuned for that. Pickles how do you think I'll do? Good enough I guess. Okay just got dropped off and now on my way to the race village. On our way back. Uh, maybe I'll just do the race recap now. thought I ran a good race I reckon I got them. 32-ish. So actually, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, pace was good. Uh, I'm, I'm wearing pretty nice shoes. So I definitely think that does a lot of the heavy lifting. Uh, yeah, I only drank one cup of water. It's only 5k, so you're not getting that parched. And but yeah, I legitimately have not run this much in two years. So that was kind of fun. Didn't end up staying at the race village too much because a lot of people there don't want to frighten the little one. She seems pretty. Uh, Pretty curious but probably on edge a little bit anyways let's get some brunch hello and welcome back just finished up breakfast at escargo bakery i think technically in brighton uh, absolutely great spot friendly staff we got a little table outside just like we did at baker blue but this time obviously you've got our little baby cat and she made a couple of friends again you know uh People really are taken aback and pleasantly surprised that we've brought a cat along to a bakery. So uh, that's nice and hopefully it encourages more kind of cats out and about. Anyways, in terms of what we got at the bakery, uh, obviously I'm post run, post 5k, happy with the uh, time I got, really left it all out on the track. Got a, again, seems to be the case, but we got a, a pizza, sort of a pepperoni focaccia style thing. And that was really good asked them to reheat it up, which they happily did. And also got a little sweetie, a uh, choc almond croissant. And this was, it's like, honestly, I reckon this one croissant weighs about like 500 grams or something. It's pretty heavy. Uh, absolutely filled with the almond filling and decent choc flavor. So really can recommend that. Uh, I just got a large mocha. Again, I'm a, I'm a nice chocolatey boy. <laughs> Why did I say that? Anyways, I'll have chocky with my coffee. Yeah, definitely really recommend Escargo Bakery. Seems to be a very popular local community spot. Weather is a bit windy. I think there's a storm brewing. I'll go back over the race again, just to give a bit more detail because I thought we'd be able to hang out a little bit at the, uh, the race village, but it was just too jam packed. I think once everyone came in after the uh, half marathon and 10K, 5K, it got chuckers. But when I was there getting ready for the 5K, it wasn't that busy. Anyways, yeah, you know, I haven't run that distance in two years, so I'm quite happy if I do say so myself with the result you know if I put a bit of time and actually applied myself I might get even better results but you know it's all balance of what you want to do I don't really like to run too much to be honest uh, not the very least because I don't really make that much content out of it that's just straight facts but yeah we'll see if I continue to participate in more races of varying distances in the future and that's all I have to say about that got stuff on for the rest of the day sort of gonna go to my girlfriend's mum's place and just kind of hang out well hello again, voiceover Steve here, back in classic fashion as I didn't end up talking to the camera again for the rest of the day. Anyways, we didn't get up to much other than eating, so here's just a quick review of the lunch and dinner we had that day. 
First up, as you can see, is a big old platter of Korean gimbap from Kbap Gimbap, which is a local maker that you can order from through Instagram or sometimes find them in stores generally around Melbourne Southeast. We got a platter with their original and tuna perilla leaf flavors, and these are always amazing. It's also important to support small makers and businesses like this when you can. And when they give you this quality of product, it's pretty much a no brainer. Then before we knew it, it was time to head out again for dinner, where we headed to Nanyang Food Stall in Preston for some Chinese Malaysian food. There are a few other locations in Melbourne, but the Preston one is only a couple months old. I absolutely loved this meal. The prices here were so reasonable for the servings and quality of the food. The flavors were great and they had such a varied menu that you could choose a whole bunch of things and get a lot of different flavors and textures. They also had a self-serve pickles stand full of chilies and sauces, which was awesome. Given how cheap it is, I say just give it a go and see for yourself. You don't have to come back if it's not for you, but it's definitely worth a try. Anyways, that'll wrap us up I think for this episode. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.